Hello and welcome, folks. It's been a bumpy road to 1,000 subscribers, and I've been very fortunate to have you guys along with me for the ride. Since the Scott Pilgrim related video is what started my YouTube journey in the first place, I figure it's appropriate to take a closer look at the series, with specific attention pointed at the infamous video game that is no longer available to play, at least not legally. Scott Pilgrim is a series near and dear to my heart. Considering that I live in Alaska, the locations, weather, and overall vibe of the graphic novels draw some parallels with the kind of town I grew up in. Created by Brian Lee O'Malley, the story revolves around 24-year-old Scott, a slacker and part-time musician who lives in Toronto, Canada. He plays bass guitar for the band Sex Babom and falls in love with American delivery girl Ramona Flowers, but must defeat her seven deadly exes in order to date her. The first book was released in 2004. Being 16 years old at the time, I immediately connected with the characters and the overall story. At the height of Scott Pilgrim's popularity, a live-action movie was released in 2010 by Universal Studios. Scott Pilgrim the Video Game was developed by Ubisoft and released at roughly the same time as a tie-in of sorts, while it more closely resembled a combination of a 16-bit fever dream and the original printed series. As a side-scrolling beat-em-up fan who grew up with games like Streets of Rage, Final Fight, and Capcom's Dungeons & Dragons arcade game, this love letter of nostalgia fueled bliss seemed like it was made just for me. All the late nights of eating Taco Bell and crowding around a 19-inch tube TV at a friend's house and experiencing this adventure as a group grabbed my attention like few other games have been able to do in recent years. With the fluid and distinct pixel artistry of Paul Robertson and the frantic and unforgettable chiptune soundtrack of Anamanaguchi, this game has all the pieces put together to deserve its immense cult following. However, it only saw a digital release on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, significantly limiting how many people have gotten to experience this game firsthand. What's worse is that in 2014, it was officially delisted and pulled from the respective marketplaces. Only those who had already purchased Scott Pilgrim the video game can continue to enjoy and experience the adventure. The game follows up to four players who take control of Scott and his friends, traversing through environments familiar to fans of the series. Each character has their own unique moveset, and leveling up through combat allows you to learn new attacks as well as earning money in order to purchase food or armor. The world map acts as a HUD connecting levels together, with each stage needing to be completed in order to progress to the next area. The controls are tight and responsive. In addition to basic and strong attacks, there are many weapons at your disposal to take the enemies down. Each area has its own distinct vibe, and there are many secret areas to uncover that can land you more funds to purchase upgrades for your character. Various hazards and platforming segments appear as you go that mix things up and help keep the experience from getting stale. At the end of any given stage you'll find one of Ramona's evil exes waiting for you, blocking your path until you take them out in increasingly intense battles. Pixel art continues to be a trend in many recent indie titles, but I've never seen a project so perfectly craft such rich detail and smooth animation like Scott Pilgrim the video game has been able to achieve. It's kind of depressing that while this game has certainly left a mark in the hearts and minds of so many people, Ubisoft has no plans to re-release it for PC or current generation consoles. Series creator Brian Lee O'Malley has gone on record saying that it's his number one goal in life to see it that this game is brought back for his fans, but this seems increasingly unlikely as time goes on. While some might argue that this game is overhyped, I find that to this day it's held up incredibly well, and it's just as fun to experience today as it was the day it was released. Currently the only way for newcomers to give this game a try, complete with the later released extra characters and DLC, is through emulation with the PS3 emulator RPCS3. I certainly hope that a new chapter is written for this sad story, and that someday Scott and his friends will be able to bring a new generation of fans along for the ride. But until then, I say we keep the buzz going strong about just how much this precious little gem means to us. That's about all I have time for today, but please let me know what you think about the Scott Pilgrim video game or the series as a whole. If this is your first time visiting my channel, or if you like these kinds of videos, 
Consider liking or subscribing to show your support, and feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, keep on gaming!